you know, the digital world has grown to this level where it's been appreciated so much in Nigeria? Okay, so I, I would say first of all, um, when it all started, basically nobody knew it was gonna, it was actually gonna get to this stage. I mean, we I, re, I used to remember back there when we just go to the cafe to check our emails, and now today social media is what is actually driving change. Social media is what is actually driving, and also um, putting food on some people's table. I will say that in that word. It has grown from nothing to something, and it has actually helped build um, society, shape society, even shape you know um, decisions, and also bring people together to like make makes it a very smaller world, you know. And seeing how it has grown from nothing to something, even everybody uses Mark Zuckerberg as an example, which is actually a clear exa example, you know. Yahoo, Google, YouTube, everybody know we all know these platforms, but seeing how we all make money from it, see how we we we, we change. Our society, even through those platforms, is actually very, very, very interesting. Now, for you, when you started, where did you see your brand going to? What was, what did you see? What was your dream? What was the dream that got you awake? Wow. Okay. So, it it started it started with passion, basically. And when it when it all started, there was really nothing. I, I was not saying anything, but the drive was what I was that that kept me going. It was just the drive that kept me going and kept me pushing and Right now, it's I won't say that that I won't say that's what really sustained me, because a lot of things happen in between, like a lot of challenges, and again, for the fact that a lot of things are actually changing, it's 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 a global trend basically, and we all need to catch up. I mean, we I mean, I'm actually happy that Nigeria is actually realizing it now and also catching up with it with it right now. I mean, who would have imagined? <clears throat> I mean, platforms, social media platforms are actually creating and actually. <laughs> bringing a lot of um, maybe so let me just say discussions in terms of political dis discussions, even determine even also determining uh, also determining um, who's going to win elections or not. I mean it's everything stuff all I mean it's all coming out all from social media. So for me basically when it all started uh, it was it was a joke there was no plan nothing but now it's it's business for us right now we ha we have people working with us we ha we we actually it's it's a growing brand basically because we keep expanding and it's not just stopping and like we keep moving every day now for the average person who's out there who's asking how do we monetize the business how do you actually generate money revenue from social media can you just give us a simple breakdown of how this works um, okay so how do you need to generate money number one you need to you need to now it's a, it's a numbers game you need to have your followers. You need to have a. You have to craft a niche for yourself. What do you want? To, what do you want to be known for? Is it for food? Is it for lifestyle? Is it for events? Is it for politics? Is it for business? You need to just craft, uh, craft a niche for yourself. Then from there, if anybody's looking for anything that they need to know online, they know who to. They know where to go to. You know, basically. And again, um, from another point of view, is uh, maximizing your your followers online and how to you. Maximize the potentials online, basically, and also how to, you know, tell your client, your followers to clients, you know, and then make money from there. Okay. Now, finally, what's your average day like? I'm talking regarding work. How do you update stories? How do you stay abreast with the fresher stories globally? Okay, so my day starts 5 a.m. My day ends like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. It depends on how the day goes, you know. But for me, I'm a morning person. I'm also an evening person. Yeah, so while I have my people, like my staff, sorry, <laughs> I have my staff, you know, working like all through the day, and then I also take up, I mean, we, do, we have meetings with clients most times. We also have to do brainstorming with, with the team and all, so it's a lot, like it's, it goes around the clock, and we don't sleep. Now, with the challenge of the economy for 2016, how has been the blogging business for you? Well, it's been difficult, I, I won't lie, because um, most clients now are actually cutting budgets, and... You know, when they have like um, billboards, they have billboards, they have magazine, they have print, and then they have the online platforms too. They give us like 20, like two percent out of out of the budget, which is very very low. And mostly, most of the job comes from 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 the online business. So it's business this year has been very very low, basically. Now, finally, can you hold the microphone and tell me what inspires Tosi? Just tell me, I'm inspired by. So just look.